All right, seven days stranded in a cave by Mr. Beast and a couple of his friends is what we're going to be reacting to in today's video. So hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more reaction videos like this. Let me know in the comment section what you would like me to react to next and let's get into the video. I don't normally do intros like this, but I'm currently descending hundreds of- What do you mean you don't do intros like this? All your intros are literally this crazy though. What? Feet into a cave that runs over five kilometers deep into the earth. And whether we like it or not, as soon as my friends and I touch the- Yo, for context, 5 kilometers is like, um, 5 times and a bit more the height of Burj Khalifa. That is insane. What? Ground. We are officially stranded here for the next 7 days. <laughs> that might have been the scariest thing I've ever done. First things first, we gotta get really far away from where we rappel down. Why? If it storms, this entire area could flash flood. Uh -huh. like an ocean and potentially drown us all which is why we're going deep into the cave to set up base camp Bro, this is just wicked dude this is like a different world this cave entrance may be beautiful but looks can be deceiving we didn't know it yet but the next seven days will by far be the hardest of our entire lives worst idea. Uh, I, it's definitely be worst somehow. idea like to be honest my african ass can never ever try it i mean it looks interesting it's something i would want to do but nah it's not I come up my hand from the matter. Can't be me. If we don't have a camp, we're screwed, okay? Do you have any idea where you're going? We're just looking for flat ground to set up camp. Upon entering the mouth of the cave, we stumbled upon an area with high enough elevation to protect us from any flash flooding, meaning that it was perfect for camp. Perfect is a crazy word. Good enough is what I would use. Good enough for camp. We spent the rest of day one grabbing our supplies that we were dropped with. Each one of these bags weighs like 80 pounds. And as you can see by the footage, we spent around four hours. This is very hard to traverse. Getting all of it back up to our base camp. All right. We've got some lights on in here. Our supplies are finally at our home base. And if you point the camera over there, you'll see it's pitch black. It took all day. And so we set up the bare minimum for camping grounds. We drilled holes to hang up some ropes. Grab these, pull yourself up. Looks That's like the crazy. Ropes will be to support hammocks. And with the help of our survival so guide, Joel, they're we literally going to hang above those things. Yeah. Ate some dinner and prepared for a very uh, cold <laughs> night. One. Not gonna lie, this Nigga, what? Is, uh, way more comfortable than I thought it would be. Hey. Oh god. <laughs> is this face actually so there? Big, this part of the cave is two and a half kilometers deep, and we're basically. <laughs> Was that edited? The or chill. Oh, this part of the cave. I don't oh, think that's god. edited there. <laughs> Why is my head so big, bro? <laughs> this part of the cave is two and a half kilometers deep, and we're basically camping at the entrance. Tomorrow, we have a lot of exploring. Yo, that is crazy. So like, I think it was like, move deeper and deeper and deeper. Or I didn't. It's a very perplexing environment. The cave's constantly dripping water on us from above. So we put a tarp over us. But even still, the water's dripping into our hammocks. I have an idea. Let's make our shelter actually good. I say we connect these tarps so we stay dry while we're sleeping. Here. That's literally genius. I'm not just a YouTuber, okay? My hammock gets out right uh -huh. here. <laughs> <laughs> Are we serious right now? This is where I just got out of bed. And we didn't realize it at the Perfect time, but this hole is almost 40 feet deep. So while Sean and I got started on the super tarp, Mac and Carl went to see how dangerous this hole was for it themselves. Fix you my, my poster, like that is where I slept. Crazy. Now look at this. And because everything looks the same, and it's probably pretty hard to follow us in this cave, on this map, you can see our home base and how far they're moving away from it. All right, Mac. It's been real, bro. Oh, bro, this it's is that deep, though. I saw who have fallen in there. Actually, have to work on the camp. Why is there a sleeping bag over here? Uh, because it smelled like pee. Ew. Lesson number one: Don't rent your sleeping bags. Why is he policy so bad, dude? Sleeping I, bags. I, Why did we not just buy sleeping bags? We're zip tying the tarps together. Oh, it was the camera, the not me. Don't All mind right. me. Just. Ugh, trusting this rope with my life. And meanwhile, Mac and Carl were still in a hole. Oh my god, Mac. Ah. And eventually, they finally made it to the bottom. Hey! So it doesn't look that far, see. dude. We just want to show how dangerous camp was. It to didn't look that far. It's a skill issue. Oh, okay. <laughs> Even though they should skill have been issue. Back, Carl and Mac insisted on seeing how deep they could go. Bro, this just looks so crazy. You think you could make it through the river? Nah. Well, little do these two know, this river actually runs throughout the entire cave, which means we'll be spending some time in it. 
Oh, there they are. Oh, Tell me you guys cooked. Oh, we cooked. That's right. <laughs> a new home, am I right? Let's go. We now have a roof. Look at this. Oh, I'm not going to actually Now we moved the fire pit to this little cove we found. What do you think? It's warmer. It's cozy. These rocks trap the heat here and block the pee from the rocks above. It's not pee. What, what, what do I call it? I don't know, maybe rain or something? It's, it's not rain, oh, it's rock. Baby. Wait, point it up. Do you see clouds? No, you see rocks. It's not rain. Rock pee. Rock pee. Rock pee. Rock pee, fine. All right, it's rock pee. And after a much drier night of sleep, we decided to have Joel, our survival expert, help us get all the way to the end of the cave. Cave! 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 Yeah! Let's see how deep in the Now, keep in mind that we are still just at the beginning of this massive cave. And our goal is to make it all the way through it without dying of Like, after that ending that they showed earlier, I mean, it still goes further. That is insane. Oh my gosh, this is kind of steep. What? Well, you ain't seen nothing yet. We're going I actually can't wait the for the them cave. to get to the right, end, though. Suck in your guts. Where things get tight. Well, when they're going to do all this in one fight. day... Brother... <laughs> the interesting part about cave exploration is one second you're barely fitting through cracks in the rocks. Oh my god, this is so tight. And then the next, you're in a massive chamber, so big that in order to see it all, we had to do this. Woo! Oh my god! I can actually see now. This is awesome. This thing is bright. Woo! You know, oh, look Jimmy. How cool this is. Like, you hope the Jimmy's crew have, have so like, like, the coolest adventures, to be honest. <laughs> We probably didn't use that the most effectively. Lead the way. And so we continued on. Feel free, there's a really good handle at the top right there. Here. And then you can sort of swing a foot around onto this one. Like this? Yeah, yeah, perfect. Joel, the best caving guide ever. <laughs> no one's died yet. All right, guys, this is where things get interesting. What? What is this? So from this point on, wetsuits. We're going for a swim. Yesterday, Mac and Carl were joking about doing this, but the rest of this cave adventure takes place in a freezing river. Oh my god, this is insane! Meaning wetsuits are the only way to not get hypothermia. Why are we doing this? This is a once in a lifetime experience. It's it's because you die after you do it. <laughs> in order to get to the cave, because you die after you do it. That's crazy. <laughs> Come with me, I'm telling you, come with me. I do not like water. I can swim, yeah, but I cannot, I cannot for the life of me find myself inside this kind of water ever. Like, nah, it's, it's not going to happen. What's crazy about doing this oh, it's so cold. is when you're completely submerged in freezing cold water, gripping onto the rocks becomes incredibly hard. Uh, oh my gosh, that was crazy. Matt, Carl, let's go. Oh. <laughs> you got this. <laughs> And even though this obstacle was difficult, it's nothing compared to what's up ahead. We did it! Oh. Yes, yes, hey, yes, boys, yes. we're now 10% done! Which means we've only scratched the surface of this expedition, and we still have over two kilometers remaining to reach the end. Just go to the As top you can there. see, it rains in this cave 24-7, so I'm making a chill spot for us to hang out in and not get wet. I wonder what it would Wait, look he's like not if I wasn't here to all this. Pretty sure they'd just be sleeping in a pile on a wet rock. <laughs> You're not going to the cave with them, all right. I guess it makes sense. Why is this so difficult? Ah, the worst part is, every inch we go this way is an inch we gotta go that way to get back to camp. Our next obstacle may be out of the water, but that doesn't make it any easier to get through. Oh, is that a spider wing? Spider, I don't see a spider. That means it's probably on us. Oh, it's on you, it's on you. I hate my friends. <laughs> this cave is like a Mr. Beast video. The further you go, the harder it gets. Just straight up, if we didn't have Joel, I'd be dead. And after three <laughs> hours, Joel had some bad news for us. The water's too high, and we've taken too long. We're gonna have to turn around for today and head back to camp. I disagree! You can't disagree with the safety expert! I disagree! Well, we can't really disagree. It turns out we wasted way too much time filming and playing with flares to the point where we now had to restart and attempt this mission Damn. another day. Wait, so can they actually like go Sean, like to our fur in one day? 
gets wet now? Bro, I didn't even know he packed lights. Yeah, they're awesome, right? Sadly, we only made it 20% through the cave today. But mark my words, we will go the distance in a future day. I doubt I, it. That's not gonna happen. We might rest on day four, and then on day five, try to go all the way to the end of the cave and see what's there. Ooh, day three was a lot of fun. I'll see you guys tomorrow. All right, so we're going to rest one extra day. Miserable night in the cave. The next morning, we only had one thing in mind. A hot shower would literally save my life right now. Oh, showering would be awesome. I haven't showered in three, four days. As you can imagine, showering inside shower. the cave isn't easy. We had to hike all the way back to where we repelled in to safely reach the riverbed. What's oh, going on? Oh, my God! I feel my brain. I've never felt my brain like this. My forehead is frostbite. Let's use the drone to dry our heads off. Come here, drone. Oh, brother, stop, stop. It's actually working. Yeah, it is working. Who needs a hair dryer when you have a drone? And after we dried off, we <laughs> sat down with Joel to plan our journey. What is Bro, this, this Joel? shit is crazy. Last time, we had to stop because of the fast moving water. But the rains have been slowing, so we might just get a window to reach the end by tomorrow. What if they get to the end and then they get stuck? First, Obviously, that, we'll that's not going to happen, but like, what if? Yesterday dive off massive cliffs and avoid jagged rocks and if we can make it past all that we will finally make it to the beautiful glow room chamber don't tell us done this before like. though i want us to be surprised do you think we're gonna make it Whoa. nah let's not play that game <laughs> we're all gonna make it with tomorrow's plan is thoroughly mapped out we rested up and made feastable s'mores to regain our energy everyone cheers Yippee! Oh, Joel's about to have his oh, first feastable was... s'more. All right, Joel, be honest. Red, red. Joel approves? Joel approves. Why didn't we whip this chocolate out earlier? This just got like 10 times more fun. <laughs> Guys, for real, if you've never tried s'mores with feastables, you're really missing out. Tomorrow, we're going to explore the entire cave. We'll see you guys then. So we tried to sleep as much as we could and prepare for tomorrow's journey to the end of the cave. We're about to embark on one of the most dangerous right. journeys of my life. Because of our experience from day three and focusing less on filming, we were able to make progress way faster. Just like the other day, bro. Wait, I don't get to what does the thing keep like to ensure our best chance of survival. In addition to Joel, we brought another survival expert with us. This is where we had to stop. What the hell did I just do? How we doing? I think we're making much better time. Behind us, it's pitch black. Oh, 1080 is the limit. Uh, the current's strong, so we're gonna use the walls and kind of climb our way along. Yep, here we go. Jump for that first rock. There's a couple of good rocks around the corner as well you can get a hand on to. <laughs> it's so dark down here. There's no bottom right now. My feet aren't touching the ground right now. Because we couldn't reach the ground, this meant that if we let go now, we could get swept away by the strong current the directly beneath us. Joel, what are we doing? I would go into here if you can. That's okay. a good one. I can't even see where I'm going. God, the current is taking me away. You got it. You got it. Get yourself in there and it's going to get way gentler. Legit, so like me that is skinny as fuck. I am going to die here. Like to be honest, like the card is going to carry me away. Like. And we're now approaching our first serious obstacle. Okay, basically, the water's recirculating. So if you fall in, it takes you to the bottom and it keeps you there. If we fall, we would die. Yeah. Okay, so death is on the table. This is just not what I thought I was signing up for. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, great. Wrong. strong as a cave. I'm barely as strong as a human. Well, fortunately for us, rather than Carl leading this expedition, we've got the literal Avenger, Joel. And just to prove how much of an expert he is, this man literally flexed on us by jumping off a cliff. Oh my god. You're crazy. Who else is a bit crazy? Surely one of you guys are keen? I'm crazy. No shot you want to do that. What are you talking about? I'm doing it right now, baby. Let's go, Joel. Godspeed, man. After everything Jimmy's put me through, this ain't that scary Oh, bro, this spider has fucked my brain over right now. <laughs> you doing it? No, we gotta keep going or we won't hit the end. Oh my god. Can we go downstream? Why are we always fighting the current? I might just start drifting away. I might just give it up. There are sharp rocks underneath the water. You cannot see them, so watch your step. Oh my god. It's getting deep. You cannot see them, so watch your... How the fuck are you going to watch your step if you can't see them, dude? Am I the only one that thinks that? I can't. 
I need to put my feet on some. And if the sharp rocks weren't enough of a challenge, it seems like with every step we took... Oh, bro, I can't see anything. This is terrifying. The caves became darker, tighter, and ruthless enough that we began to question if we could even get to the finish line. Oh my god, you can do it. You can do it, obviously. <laughs> Joel, can I see your bag? Thank you. Let me get some out. Mr. B Slab Swarm. I'll be honest, guys. As you can see, because of what I've been going through for the past five hours, I'm clearly in no shape to tell you about this right now. And so, a month after we filmed this, I built an entire cave set, threw on my future Jimmy name tag, and then said, Hey, future Jimmy here, and I'm going to tell you about my brand new toy line of <laughs> Mr. B Slab Swarm. Well, it's a collectible cool. toy line with over a we didn't just stop with the swarms, we also Wait. made these action figure panthers that are in the- Where is Chandler though? I I'm just realizing that Chandler is not in this video, what? And after more brutal trekking throughout the cave, we finally arrived at the glowworm chamber. Man, this better be worth it. Alrighty team, welcome to the glowworm chamber. Whoa! Holy crap. That is crazy. Dude, this does not look like it's Earth. All of the lights you see here are actually created by tiny bioluminescent glowworms. That kind of looks like the Milky Way galaxy. Wow. And that is moment, pretty cool, though. This view honestly made that trek worth it. While making it to the glowworms was definitely worth the trip, our journey was still not over. Because we oh, that is all not... the way back to base camp. Oh, that's the end? Oh, the minute is the six. end. They're not back, and I'm exhausted. I don't know if I'll be able to sleep though. I'm just worried with them being gone so long. The trip back is what I mean, I will be worried too, dude. With the current. Now, because you guys have already seen the trip, we're going to expedite the way back. But seriously, this whole journey took so long, we crossed into day six before reaching camp. John, John. So guys, I was starting to worry. Day. Happy day six. Day six. Let's go. All we had energy to do was thaw out by the fire and finally eat some food. That was a very adventurous day. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Honey, or you later doing? today. So freaking is hungry. Day six. Yeah, maybe today. I don't know. Despite being physically obliterated from our excruciatingly long hike, no matter what I did, I was really struggling to fall asleep. Honestly, I can't help but think like a dinosaur is going to I pop spent out seven from days somewhere. In solitary confinement, seven days buried alive, seven days on a raft. And I'm going to be honest, I think this is harder than all of those. You're constantly soggy and cold. I just keep hitting my body on these hard rocks and it hurts. 90% of the time, this cave is miserable. But between me and you. Jimmy! Yo! Carl! Can you see me? Ah! Ah! It's the world's brightest flashlight. There are moments of fun in this cave. From conquering rapids 300 feet underground. Yay! From me and the boys laughing in our hammocks. I'm, so, <laughs> I'm actually dumb part of this video is actually crazy. Let's make whale noises. This wet, cold. Yeah, that's when you're in good company. I swear to God, if you are doing this alone, you will be fucking miserable, man. Brother. <laughs> Rocky, miserable cave can easily transform into the most beautiful trip of our lives. Nature is cool. Nature is pretty. Nature is fine. All right, what happens next, though? We cannot leave until everything is picked up. And when I say everything, I mean everything. Let's get out of here. And after our journey back to the mouth of the cave. Oh, it looks so good up there. We had one more surprise for Joel. And before we head out, Joel, as a show of gratitude, we got you 50,000 New Zealand dollars. So it's 10 grand for every human you didn't let die. Oh gosh, thanks so much, Joel. Oh, oh, we love you, Joel. <laughs> and now that we got that out the way, let's leave. Oh, that was really cool. After seven long days, we're finally leaving. Oh, I, 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 oh my God, what that is, dude? Brother. <laughs> I was not expecting to do that, sorry. Anyways, yeah, this video, I already seen it. I actually did a reaction for it, but uh, I talked in the audio so well, like the, the audio of the video itself was like higher than my voice. So I couldn't like, I couldn't post that anymore. So anyway, this is the end of the video. If you guys have enjoyed it, make sure to hit the like button. Also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, because I'm going to be posting more reaction videos like this. And also let me know what video you like me to react to next, whether it's funny videos or horror videos or some shit like that. So I will see you guys in my next video. Peace.